Okay, guys, we're playing uh, Gothic Chess on chess.com. Got a, uh, let's see what the time control is. It's 10 minutes for all my moves. Um, oh, it's actually a very slow time control of 10 minutes with 15 second increment. Okay, I'm playing the spike opening. That's G4 and then the super spike G5. Playing against Jar Jar 1981. Yeah, this is a pretty standard opening. I, my opponent has a 1500 question mark rating. Uh, but I have to say, you know, this is a, this is a pretty good opening, I think, for, um, for black. Just have a little fun and kick his bishop around. Now I'm going to set up a cheapo. Alright, let's see if he falls for the cheapo. The, the idea is I want to snap his knight with my light squared bishop and then play bishop a3 check. And the check from the side would win a super major. Um, you guys who have been keeping up with my videos know that this is one of my favorite cheapos. I can think of two... Oh, what well, do you know? He's going to walk right into a pin. Okay, so... I didn't have to actually do the bishop takes c6 cheapo to get the uh, side check. Instead, I just simply pin his chancellor to his king. So, oh, look, he's just going to throw a knight at me. doesn't really change the fact that I have that pin, so now he's just giving away extra material. So when I take his chancellor, it will be a completely free chancellor now instead of a bishop for a chancellor. So, you know, I mean, the way the game started out, it really, uh, the first few moves, I felt like black was doing great, might have even... Um, had an equal or slightly better position. I don't think I played the opening that great, but uh, once I saw an opening for the cheapo, I went for it, and here we are. So here I simply recapture with the archbishop. My pawn structure is intact. I've got a great position, and then there's nothing he can do about the uh, huge material when coming on uh, d6. I think my opponent's pretty decent, you know, like the moves he played in the opening were good or better than mine, but... Uh, you know, not he, he must not be very experienced at Gothic Chess uh, based on his 1500 question mark rating. I think we can safely assume that. Uh, okay, so now do I just snap the Chancellor right off the board, or do I recognize the fact that, uh, you know, knights are better than, I mean, bishops are better than knights, so I might want to play knight to e4 and then trade off the knight instead of the bishop. Keep Hang on to my dark square bishop. Also, I could just pilfer a pawn right now. I think that's got to be the smartest move, is just, you know, Let's just go ahead and take this pawn on b7 because of the pin. I'm, get, I'm being greedy here, but why not? Uh, let's see. If we look over here, we see that the... Uh, the okay, now, obviously I need to do something about this. I, I have to actually take the Chancellor since there was a skewer of my two bishops, so this eliminates that problem. And then I, I can safely uh, retreat my light squared bishop. Where are we going to go here? Well, I have to say I really like this square right there, because look at that. Now he can't get his archbishop out so easily. Although I suppose he can just go to e7. So, let's see. If I had it to do over again, I would have played bishop c6, because then I could have tried to swing in my archbishop or something. Uh, that won't be possible now. Let's see, are there any nasty tactics I could try? I don't see anything. I think I'll invite an... No, that on going to be dangerous. Yeah, doing the on stuff stuff's dangerous. So, um, you know what? I am actually going to just admit that I made a mistake there and back off all the way to G2. So I, I made a horrible mistake there, uh, you know, just completely wasting a tempo. Okay, so I guess we might as well take on Passant. Don't want him to just overtake the center with his pawns. And actually, now he's walked into a completely lovely trap. He set up that fork for me. I guess that wasn't there before, but because he got um, happy with his F-pawn, yeah, now he gives up. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, you know, 
I don't think that the Queen for the Archbishop was such a huge thing that he needed to resign on that particular move, but I was up the Chancellor for the, was a clean Chancellor after I had won his knight too, where he gave me the knight. So there you go, guys. Uh, my rating went up. That's good. Uh, yesterday I had a 10-minute game where I lost and my rating went down 10 points. So, so my rapid rating is up and uh, we'll just keep working at it. So get on chess.com as soon as you can. Play some gothic chess and I'll see you in the next video.